Hey guys, it's Monday, 5, 10 p.m. on January 13th, 2020. And this is the YouTube notification I got last night that just rocked my world. I was involved in a comment thread with a kid named Robert Mesa. I'll explain to you in a few minutes why I'm pretty convinced that this is a kid. And his last words to me in the comment thread were, In truth by grace, well, I hope I find them because I'm going to commit suicide soon. You guys, this has just been a horrible last half a day trying to figure out how to handle this. And since I really have reached an end, I don't know what to do. I'm going to appeal to you guys. Because here's the problem. Despite the fact that Google and YouTube are all about child protection and COPPA and protecting children, and they've been bragging for the last four years about how they've hired thousands of moderators to keep efforts safe, maintain a safe community of YouTube, you guys, they have absolutely nothing here for people like you and me who encounter somebody in a YouTube comment that literally says, I'm going to commit suicide soon. So let me walk you through this, what's happened. I'll just take you through the whole thing. My hope here is that you guys will, number one, upload this video to anybody and everywhere to see if we can't find Robert Mesa's parents to let them know that this kid is thinking about committing suicide. And number two, to expose the vacuous maze of hypocrisy that is YouTube in this whole nonsense where they're trying to pretend that they're for taking care of kids. This is ridiculous, you guys. There's absolutely nothing here for me to to reach out to people. And here's the problem. As I'm going to show you, I really do think that this is an account that belongs to a minor, which is why it's set up to look like this. And the fact that I have no way of notifying anybody about this comment thread short of uploading this video to you guys is really horrifying. So let me just go over all the details here. This is the video that it happened on. This video is about an elderly man, really old man, who didn't even know his name, his Alzheimer's was so bad. And his middle-aged son dropped him off in, in a vicinity of an old British hospital where the old man ended up getting care for the rest of his life being sustained by the people in this community, okay? Now, the thing about this was that if it weren't for the son dropping this old man off so that this guy could get care at the hospital, who knows what would have happened to him, right? But I came across this comment by this guy, Mayor Marlon M., who says, sometimes having children is a big mistake. I responded to that, which is how I got linked into this. My stupid comment was, Merlin M., after watching this video, does it seem that it would be easier for you to take care of yourself when you get Alzheimer's or Parkinson's if you don't have children? In other words, what this guy is saying is that it's better not to have kids. Having kids is a big mistake. That was what this guy, Robert, replied to. So I got Robert's comment about 2 o'clock in the morning when he said, Wow, just today I was thinking, now this is what makes me think he's a young person. If my mom and dad had practiced birth control, both those things sound like something a kid would say. It would have been absolutely fabulous. So I'm thinking this person is somewhere between middle age and high school now that I'm evaluating it, okay? And my response to this guy was, because I saw this and my first observation of it was thinking, you know, that's not right. He thinks that he's the product of just his parents, like, like, it's just apparent his parents having, you know, relations that made him appear out of nowhere. And so what I wanted to do was draw attention to God's hand in this. So I said, Robert Mesa, you are not here to serve your parents. There are many, many couples in the world who want children and do not get them. God put you here. He used the union between your folks, but you are a creation of God. And he immediately responded to me. I am a creation of an unintelligent birth control, of unintelligent birth control. Now, listen to this. There may not even be a God. We may be a byproduct of a disaster. So see, he, he, he offers two conditionals there where he's like, may not even be a God, may be a product of a, by, of a byproduct of a disaster. So my thinking now in evaluating this comment is that if he's at the stage where he's not certain that there's no God, 
he's at this stage where society is getting him to doubt that there's a God. So my response to him was, Robert Meza, there is definitely a God. If you seek him, you will find him. He has revealed himself through his word and his son, Jesus, who laid down his life to save you from the sin and death and lies that have tried to convince you that you're a product of unintelligent birth control. That is a lie. You are precious to God and he loves you, Calvinists. You should buck your handler's nihilist training and read God's word for yourself. Learn of him. Now, I gave him a link to the Gospel of Mark because I figured Matthew was going to be too long with the genealogy in the beginning and John was a little bit too complicated and Luke just sounds kind of like a fairy tale at the very beginning. So I just wanted something short and sweet and the Gospel of Mark seemed like it might be the best one. But then he responded to me shortly after that saying, well, I hope I find them because I'm going to commit suicide soon. You guys, the them he's talking about are Jesus and God. Now, I responded immediately to him and praying too at the same time. Like I prayed and I was crying. I was all upset about this. I'm like, Robert, please don't. Please write to me. And I gave him my email address. I'm like, talk to me. I love you. I don't even know you, sweetie, but it is no mistake that I saw your comment and felt to reach out to you. Please send me an email and we can talk. And I got on my knees after I sent that and I just, I prayed and I was crying and I was like, God, please don't let this kid kill himself. This is horrible. And I was like, God, please give me a video that I can send to this kid. And God provided such an awesome link to this cool video by John Ankerberg. I will show you here. Hopefully I have it pulled up. Yeah, this video is called What Happens One Minute After You Die. I'd seen this video a couple of years ago. And so I know it's a good one. And the wonderful thing about it is it's really simple theology. Like it appeals, it's appealed to 770,000 people. And it really does immediately address the issue of what happens when you die. And I, I mean, I could not believe that that showed up immediately in my recommended list. So I posted it and I have been, I posted, I, I gave him the link right here. And so then I spent the next handful of hours that I could staying awake refreshing my inbox to see if this kid wrote to me and he didn't so then when I woke up then this morning I decided to look to see what I could do and I thought okay well I remember that I had that email support the email for YouTube support right so what I did was I I and if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about a couple of years ago a channel like Richie from Boston and then Mental Boost they were taken down. And so I had this email and I I got people to send emails to YouTube. Well, so I thought to write a letter to YouTube and here's what I wrote. I wrote, um, to the creator support. I came across a person threatening suicide in the comments section of this video pasted below. I am concerned for them. I gave them my email and they have not responded. I don't know if there's anything you can do to help them, but please try. And then just after I posted all the stuff here, a couple seconds later, I got this. Hey there, thanks for contacting YouTube Creator Support Team. You're getting this response because you've reached an email address that is not supported. If you need help, you can chat with us 24-7 in English. So I clicked on the link to chat with them 24-7 in English. And guess what? This is for YouTube creators, but I don't have my channel monetized, so I don't get this link. So it says then that you can go to YouTube, um, get, what is it? Like they refer you to the help center, whatever. So I link to the get help as a YouTube creator, same thing, doesn't help. So then I decided just to finally type in suicide. What do they, what do they say you're supposed to do? Because it's, I started thinking to myself, I'm like, wow, wait a minute. If this is some kid who I do think it's a younger person because he's not convinced that there is no God, he's at that stage where he's still doubting it. And he also refers to his parents as mom and dad. And he mentions words like birth control, which is not something who uses the word mom and dad would normally do. But anyway, 
Then I'm thinking, what if this person does kill themselves? What are his last social comments going to be on social media? And who's he going to be talking to last, but in truth, by grace? So then I'm thinking, I better find out what the process is here. There has to be some sort of a process as a responsible content creator on YouTube. I want to find out, right? So I type in suicide to see what you do. And now here's the first thing I come across with Google. It says here that content that promotes self-harm, okay, that would be suicide, but look what they pair it with. This is where you start reveal. it starts revealing how fractured YouTube and, and Google are. It says, or content where the person is, is intended to, to shock or disgust users. You guys, they are literally lumping together in one category. Content that promotes self-harm, which would be like suicide, or something that's intended to shock or disgust somebody. Well, you guys, I'm not even encountering content except for the comments. So it's the content of the comment. But they're definitely, these two categories are not related. But they tell you point blank, it's not allowed on YouTube. Okay. It says, we do allow users to post content discussing their experiences with depression, self-harm, or other mental health issues. Then it says, what to do if you see this content? So, okay, I want to know what I'm supposed to do. Like, what are our options to try to reach out to these people? And also, do I have any liability? Like, what are we supposed to do? Here's what it says. You guys, I'm not kidding. If you come across content in which someone expresses suicidal thoughts or is engaging in self-harm, number one, contact local authorities. Number two, Flag the video to bring it to our attention immediately. Well, it's not a video, it's a comment. And believe it or not, I actually did contact the local authorities. I felt like an idiot, but I was like, well, that's what it says to do. So I better follow the protocol because I don't want any liability and I want to make sure that I'm exercising everything I can do to reach out to this person's family or get this person some help. Well, I called the local police and I knew that they were just going to think I was a crazy person. So all I said to the lady who answered the phone, I called the non-emergency number and I'm like, well, I came across somebody threatening to commit suicide online and I looked up the YouTube policy and they told us just to call our local authorities. And so just to make the phone call, I thought I'd call and she's like, yeah, there's nothing we can do. Now that just sounds absolutely ludicrous. Because of course Google knows there's nothing my local police department can do when it is YouTube who knows who set up this account. This is the problem I'm going to be bringing to you guys. This is the problem I want to point out to you guys. Because then they tell us to flag it. Well, let's just see what our options are. So I go to the comment here and let's just say I do flag it. So it says I can report it. What are my options? I'm going to report this reply for what? Unwanted commercial content? No. Pornography? Mm Mm-mm. Child abuse? I don't know, but doesn't look like it. Hate speech? Uh Uh-uh. Harassment or bullying? None of the above, you guys. For all the bragging that YouTube has for having all these thousands of moderators and all of this, this benevolent wish of goodwill to help men, Why don't they have a little category here that says individual needs help immediately, requires individualized attention immediately, requires law enforcement intervention immediately? Why isn't there something like that right there? You guys, this is what we would use if it was somebody threatening to shoot up a school or if it's somebody who's threatening to kill themselves. This is a matter of life and death. And yet you, Google, as you see, gives us absolutely no options to help these people. And I'm telling you, it is because this is a vacuous system that does not actually do what they say they're doing. This is They're not making any efforts to maintain a safe YouTube community. They haven't hired thousands of moderators to make this place safe. And all this stuff about COPPA is a nonsense, you guys. If it wasn't, I would have some way to report the fact that that there is likely a young person who is on his way to committing suicide and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm horrified about this, you guys, and I, I pray that you will please upload this video 
to all of your social media and share this with this awful, gross, vacuous hole that is our monstrous social media platforms, if maybe we can get some help, if not for Robert Mesa, maybe for the other people that we will encounter online, because you guys, I'm telling you, I've been crying about this all day trying to figure out what to do, and people like this need our help, so... Please share this with everybody you know, and if you've got any ideas, please let me know. I would really, really, really like to find some way to reach out to this kid and help him. Thank you.